Onivia, League of Legends highlights. In response. Literally, perfect pick. Like, no joke. I, it was the first thing that came to mind because you need magic damage, I think, to shore up the tankiness. The Scion's not going to bring any damage into, this, into these fights. It's, they will never kill me ever. Well, the hands moving forward here. We do manage to get the slowdown. There's the pullback, and Dr. Arm has to flash. Ruler immediately flashes after him, and that is going to be first blood going over to Gen G. Now Doran trying to get some side steps in as well. Decent shock blast as Bertle lumbering down, trying to chase the Jace, and that spear is going to connect. Doran has to flash to get himself out of the way. And a spear is going to come through as well. It's a great shadow surge, but immediately, Canyon is going to flash, get himself out of the way. Showmaker dashing forward, the finds turn. the charm as well. And Ophelia is trying to run this one out. That is going to be the double kill. And the Ari gets her revenge. That entire exchange was just so high level on both sides. But it's Showmaker who just goes forward here to grab the kill at the end. Punishment here at the highest level from Dom Juan Kia, knowing the play bottom side was happening. They had free If they walk up, he has a kill opportunity, but he's just going to wait for the wave, crash this one through, try to zone Duck Dom out. Yeah, that is going to be a bit of a stun up there. The ulti comes through as well, and now Peanut is looking for the resets. The Renata is going to fall down as Duck Dom is gifted a kill, but the Feather Storm will help Peanut pick up the double. I really just didn't think with the Nautilus there that they were going to commit that hard, but the ultimate there from Lehens is massive. He trades his life, but you end up getting an extra kill onto the Zaya who picks up more plate gold and is now going to take out the enemy AD carry. 30 CS up is this Lethality Zaya. Meanwhile, over here... Oh, the train misses the station there just a little bit as Doran's trying to turn this one around. He avoids the Q, and now underneath the turret, Doran is going to be able to pick up the one for one, and he's real happy about that. He's not going to look towards the bottom lane, though, because that's where Genji are really starting. With the vision you had earlier on this... Rift Herald, which is going to be potentially some big map control. Oh, okay. Showmaker kind of caught in the jungle here. Does land the uh, the charm as Kellen comes on over. Super Mega Death Rocket comes through and Peanut is just going to get taken down. Showmaker goes golden. Ruler looks for his opportunity as the train is going to connect onto Doran this time. Great zap to land as well. As okay, yeah, we're going to have some Berserk players flying through here, but it doesn't last too long. And there's the Rift Herald dropping. This play attempt from Peanut was heroic, but it was not the right call with no vision. Really easy rotation over, and now it's a free mid turret here that comes with the death of the jungler. Dom Wan Kia starting to pull ahead in gold, but also right, going to teleport to the bottom out of turret, get himself in here as Ruler. He's standing pretty far forward, and Kellen's going to flash on in. Tries to lock down Peanut. Super Mega Death Rocket comes in, and it's actually Showmaker that finishes it off in the end. The hostile takeover fell through, but you can see Darmon still able to grab that kill onto Lehens. Not enough that he can do to stop that. I mean, it's so easy to just charm, and then go for the spear, and then go for the zap and the rocket, and somebody dies every single time. Peanut and Lehens both finding themselves victim to what is an insane combo that Damwon Kia's comp has put together. They execute it well, and this will be the first straight going over to Damwon Kia. We might see another four back-to-back -back Infernals if this continues here. And he has his ultimate available, does have flash. This is so rough. Okay, hey, he's going to get feared. So Showmaker has to go golden immediately. Canyon dives on top of Peanut, who's going to flash to get himself out of the way. Does have his ultimate pretty soon as Featherstorm was back up again. That's going to be used to avoid Bertle's onslaught. And the Shadow Surge goes wide, but the Drake is now just going to get completely forgotten. And instead, it's Lahens that has to try and save himself. A lot of low health bars, but they still manage to get the pick. Genji trying to burst down this dragon as Ophelia takes a spear to the face. That's so massive. If he's full health, he feels a lot safer here. Now he has to kind of scuttle around the edge of this pit. Damon Kia has full control right now on what yeah. will be the second Infernal Drake. Bertle gets all of his health back, and he will be able to teleport into the pit and guarantee this. Trying to see the value. Look at Ophelia. Oh, this Jace is, yeah, Ophelia looking for those angles. And if he hits Doctom, I mean, there's a pick right there. Ruler's got ult. Yeah. Got to be so careful. They have no idea where he is. Ruler baiting them as best he can as well. I really like it as Bertle trying to get into position. It's a great zap to come down as now Showmaker looking for his angle. Immediately, Ruler just executes Kellen. He's not doing anything. Finds the double kill now as they're turning it on to Darmwon. And what happened to Showmaker? His health bar just I mean, disappeared. He's not building armor really in this game. And the lethality items coming through here for Doran, for Ruler, really hitting him hard when he goes forward and overextends here without the peel. They didn't know uh, where Ophelia was. Well, Ophelia is going to catch that spear, catch that one as well. 
He's, he's got teleport, needs to get out of here. Ooh, he could have walked back into that one also, but does decide not to. As Spear is... Oh, oh, oh man, it's getting a bit frightening as the Baron is going down very, very low. The Spear will connect eventually. Ophelia grabs that one, and it's just a shooting range here for Canyon. Dives in a little bit late. He's not going to be able to steal the Baron, but he goes golden. Bertle trying to stay alive, but he's not going to be able to. And despite these snipes looking good, Dalmonkia are going to lose the majority of their members in this fight. Canyon still trying to tidy this one up the best he can, but Doc Dom, not a lot of mana, not here. a lot of cooldowns. Super Mega Death Rocket will be coming up right now as that's a great knockup and the dive forward from Canyon, but he immediately falls down. Ruler grabs that kill as well as Peanut's going to dive back up again. Featherstorm just thrown out there from Ruler. That was a weird situation as yeah. now the teleport going to come forward. There's the ult to try to peel for Doc Dom here and they should be able to get away. Yeah, they're trying to get even more and Doc Dom just oh. explodes. Goodbye. Doran with a nice angle here, teleports back into this on the other side, backed after bailing out, then comes in and makes the big play. And with Baron buff here and all of these dead players on Dom One Kia, Gen G may very well have just done it, Atlas, with this insanely extended fight. Now, it's not over yet, but they have so much pushing power here. They've got Abilia on the top side, the mid lane push, they take out that inner turret, so so much gold going yeah. over to Gen G. This they is so much money as Ophelia, yeah, I mean, he could be in trouble. He's going to flash to get On out. the Baron. Genji with control of both sides right now. Darmwon with not a lot of Doran, but the flash has to be used there from Doran. Gets himself out of the way of Showmaker, whose Foxfire is now, sorry, his uh, Spirit Rush is now on cooldown. And Peanut flirting with death here towards the side as Birdle may have overextended. Ruler offering a lot of damage back. Man, the bailout giving him so much attack speed as well with this lethality build. As in goes Ophelia, finds the Shadow Surge, looks for Bertle, but Kellen, he's going to be the target that falls down first. There is so much damage on Gen G. Look Spear at the will connect, but it's a little too little too late. 4,500 damage on this lethality Zaya, and Bertle is eating the majority of it here. But the way that Gen G are playing this slow, the way that they're trying to split Damwon Kia up and punish every single time Bertle walks forward. The amount of follow-up damage they have is eventually this Scion does get chipped down. Eventually he has to push away. They have been such a phalanx around the map. Yeah, Dog Dom having to run away from Peanut. That does mean that they have inside track. They can conga line this minion wave towards this inhibitor turret. They should be able to take it as Dom on Kiel. Let's see whether they can get the collapse. Good Spear is going to connect onto Ophelia. As Showmaker dashes forward, that Spear is going to be avoided. Shadow Surge going to be used. But Ophelia not going to follow up. Genji hit a big charm is the real question. Like, that's the whole point of this is remove, remove the vision. Visible decimating smash from over the wall. Kind of like it is now Bertle looking for an opportunity. War Showmaker! Land is, that's going to be a pick onto the Renata. She immediately goes down. Ruler was their target of choice, but... And Ruler is their target, right? Damonkia, all they want is to be able to kill this Zaya. He's got his ult still. Yeah, and Flash connects onto Showmaker as well as now... The Elder Drake down to 3,000 health. Peanut goes golden. Ruler is going to be able to take him down. Ophelia finds the backline. Top top tries to get out. The Elder Drake is still alive, but she... me Showmaker is not. It's a double kill for Ruler. And the Elder is taken by Genji. They were so patient. They were extremely And in the end, patient. they managed to they, make it work. They play it so slow. They wait for Lehens to come in, and it's the perfect time for Ophelia to hit a big game-winning ultimate. Duck Dom pushed out of the fight on the wrong side of things. That's the wipe, and Gen G will pull this cop off. Six, zero, and six on this Zaya. Compositions look tough for them to win the late game. Look tough for them past the mid game, but they got Sorelda's grudge early, <laughs> and they pulled through. Patience what is it? Perseveres. What is it with Lehens dying in like the last team fight, and then them still winning? Oh, just beautiful front.